Hey, thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. Today we have the Strobe Force DTAC 1000 review. I'm gonna rattle off some of the features from the box. It's got a three light settings, strobe, high, and low. It has a strobe access immediately once you press the button. It has a high performance Cree XML2 LED. It is waterproof. Aircraft grade type three aluminum with anionized anti-abrasive finish with a 90 day warranty. What is included in the box is the light itself, uh, two CR123 batteries, two bonus O-rings and a user guide. Just to rattle some of the, the specs, on the output on the strobe feature has 1000 lumen and it runs for three hours. On the high setting, it is 1,000 lumens with 0 0.9 hours. And on the low setting, it is 20 lumens with a 65 hour. On an initial impression, when you first get the light in your hand, the Karambit is built very nice. It's got a, a sleek finish on top here. It comes down with a, a black matted finish here, and it comes with um, a pretty gritty um, abrasive finish here and it comes with the uh, bezel end here. The bezel end is quite aggressive, especially if you guys are, are working on uh, pressure points or if you're uh, using it to clamp to uh, hold an extremity while you're doing something. It does have some sharp ends, so when you're practicing, just be careful. Uh, it does, it does uh, unscrew from, from here, and uh, just in case that you have to transport the uh, flashlight in the, some places they don't like tactical flashlights so you can uh, remove the, the bezel end here. Um, other than that, the pocket clip is reversible. Right now this is set up uh, for a left, left, left side carry. Um, just an event that you carry this as an offhand uh, uh, implement device, you have your primary weapon on the, uh, the right hand. Um, other than that, uh, it is built really nice, uh, very, um, manageable in your pocket, uh, doesn't hog up a lot of space. Now, once you pl place the flashlight in your hand with the karambit ring on the index finger, you have when you once you tap the the button, it immediately goes into a strobe feature. Uh, once you press it again, it goes to the high, then the low. To get it to turn off, you have to hold down the button for three seconds, and it should turn off just like that here. Speaking of the grip, the one of the first things you want to do when you first get accustomed to this is to know really where to uh, place your grip uh, when it comes to the uh, on and off feature here. The thing I like about this, and I really realized it uh, after playing with it, is that uh, any point of contact on this on this uh, pad here, it can turn on the flashlight. And why I, I mean by that is sometimes when you get a, a tail cap assembly, you have to find on that rubbery part, the center point of that button is. On this one, it's any points here. So if your grip is not, uh, let's say your, your hand's here and you end up here, um, your grip is, there's no nothing touching that. So now once I roll it over, uh, and try to find a contact maybe around the uh, surface here, then I can engage that that on and off switch. So uh, as you as an operator will have to find the uh, comfort level where you can get access to that 
on and off switch. Now the clip is reversible, uh, comes with um, um, two screws, Phillips screwdriver, and you just basically back it up and then you can switch it on this side here. Now to access the battery, all you have to do is unscrew this end here. Um, it does come with the CR123 batteries, it actually comes with two of the batteries. And uh, these are the two batteries it comes with. Uh, you can get the optional rechargeable one. Um, and right here is the, uh, the O-ring. does come with two extra ones in the package. Overall, this is a great EDC defensive flashlight. Um, doing some research on the internet, they do say that it is not your regular technician uh, flashlight. Uh, it does run hot, um, but again, this is, is really built for a defensive carry. And uh, for retail, $89.95, I believe, on the www ultimateknife.com website. Um, I've made contact with them to see if there's any promotions. If there are, just look down below for any um, promotions, special codes or anything like that. Um, I'm just waiting from the company to uh, get back with me to see uh, if there's any uh, specials and uh, availability. But other than that, I don't see a lot of reviews on it. Uh, I'd like to think that uh, I was the very first one to do the um, first review of these other than uh, Jared Wahungi, um, awesome martial artist, awesome FMA practitioner. Um, he really, uh, he really uh, carries out his products good. I have actually some of his products. Go check out the, the Vanquish uh, Black Label by Jared Wahongi. I want to thank you guys again for stopping by and listening to the review. If you haven't yet, click onto the subscribe button and hit that hit that bell. Uh, that will get you a notification for my future videos. If you haven't yet, check out my other martial art videos for Balinta Walk, Eskrima, and Jiu Jitsu. And comment down below if you guys want to hear me uh, uh, do a review on another product. Uh, let me know as well. Um, if you are another uh, company and you just want somebody to review, uh, hit me up. My email is jujitsuboy76 at yahoo.com. Thank you.